Lord get out of here is right. It's like a poem. So what, yeah. what, what's well, up with Batista Locatelli? Well, there was Locatelli. a Batista Locatelli that had a big restaurant in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. They were cousins. Oh, okay. Uh, I always wanted to have a car because mm -hmm. I could drive, but I didn't have a car. Okay. So if I could borrow anybody's car, I would kind of sweet talk him into letting me That's use it. Total chick move. So mm -hmm. Batista had a car. Nice one. And he says, do you go out to with me? I said, I will if you let me use your car, Batista. He says, yes, say anything you want. <laughs> and my mother said, you're going to pay for this, because uh, she knew what I was up to. So I said, well, I'm not doing nothing wrong, Mom. I just want to borrow his car, that's all. So he gave me his car, and Mama said, I like to go ride with you. I said, okay. So we go up the coast road. Highway 1. Highway mm -hmm. 1. And my mother's a smoker. And as we're driving, she goes, oh, look at what I do to your banana. Ban your scarf. Your scarf. I make a hole. I take my hands off the wheel. I says, God damn it, Mama. I says, you and your smoking, look what you did to my beautiful smash. Oh, I God. Oh, knocked God. down the big fence with Batista's car. Oh, and the big bug eye headlights. Yeah, yeah, okay. His headlights fell off. Four, <laughs> four or five Filipinos coming running out of the, uh, out of fields. the uh, fields. They see a nice 16 good looking young girl. Can we help you? I said, yeah. Would you take the car, turn it around, and head it back to Santa Cruz? And he goes, and hey, what do you want with these? <laughs> I said, just, just put them in the back seat. Be okay. My mother goes, hey, you ruin our life. You know what this is going to cost. I said, it's your fault. I said, you're the one that burned the hole. And, and we're still arguing. Well, I get back to Santa Cruz. My mother goes, so what are you going to do? I said, let me think, Mama. Don't get excited. Let me think. She said, Batista going to come back for his car. Look at the head. I said, don't worry about it. They have very good, strong tape. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I took the headlights, oh God. taped them on really good, but you couldn't see <clears throat> the tape. So the headlights oh. are back on the car. Oh God. Oh Everything God. is good. Here comes Batista. He says, so when are we going to go out? I said, later. I said, we're going to go out, Batista. He says, well, I'm going to take my car now. I said, yeah, yeah, take your car. I said, thank you very much. <laughs> and as he left, I said, watch this, Mama. One, two, three, four, five. I got up to about 40. Batista's back at my door. And he's got the two headlights in his head. <laughs> I said, what you what did you hit? <laughs> and he said, I don't hear nothing. He says that the headlights did you fall off. And I said, why did you come back here holding them? I said, are you trying to blame me for this? He says, no, no, I don't blame you, Margarita. I know, he called me Margarita. Sorry. I don't blame you for this. I said, because if you're blaming me for this, I said, we're not going out. Oh my God. My mother, my mother's in the back. Because she, she didn't like things like that. As you read the book, you'll see yeah. she did. She did. So she says, how do you do to this? I said, because I'm 16, I'm nice looking. I got a good figure. And I said, Batista wants to go out with me. And I said, I don't want to go out with him. So I said, I've got to go with him.